obey the movement order to board the plane last June 2006. He is also being charged for speaking out. And these are his constitutional rights. But he's being charged for behavior unbecoming an officer and a gentleman. And together, these charges equal six years in a military prison. Compare that against the kinds of crimes that the Bush administration has committed. But they conveniently amended the War Crimes Act so that they can never be prosecuted. But you, the American people, have to hold their feet to the fire and make sure that they are held accountable for the crimes against the of peace and by supporting men like Lieutenant Watada. You need to lean on the congressionals. You need to say you must make inquiry into what the military plans to do to him because on February 5th at his court martial they plan to initiate what I call is a kangaroo court. That is not justice. When you do not allow evidentiary hearing you do not look at the motives for why he did not deploy. The judge, and I'm quite sure the judge is being pressured because he has a military career on the line. So he's going to really follow the party line. And so you people need to get out there. If it's not at Fort Lewis where the court is being held, then it's out here on the streets and across the nation. And let me tell you, the support for him is not only here nationally, but it is international. We have people who are in Morocco translating his case and putting it out there in the press. We have people in Italy and France. We have people in Venezuela, Bolivia, Peru, all over in the Spanish-speaking countries. So I tell you that his case is not an isolated one, and his story will be it will be filled with, I would say, it, it's something that will not be forgotten. And we hope that his particular action galvanizes the movement and continues to inspire all of you. Thank you. Humanity first! 